Hey guys, I'm Alejandra Ramos. And I'm Caroline Wright. And today we're making fluffernetter pie. There are two things in this world that I cannot resist. You know what they are? Well, do you know what one of them is? I'm guessing peanut butter. Definitely. But the other one is marshmallows. So that's why this is such a great pie. We're actually going to be using some marshmallow cream for this one. It's a nice, nice fluffy pie and a graham cracker crust. Awesome. So let's start with Sounds the uh, yeah. Let's start with the crust first. So I've got uh, about 15 graham crackers here that I just crushed up and all crumbled. You nice. can do this by hand or in a food processor. Whatever is easiest for you. And to that, we're going to add some melted butter. A good start. A good start. <laughs> and you can hand me that sugar. All right, can I go and pour this in? Absolutely. Spill the sugar. Just add a little bit of extra sweetness to it. We also have a little bit of kosher salt, just to kind of mix that up a bit. And I'm just going to give that a stir. And this is going to make our kind of crust base. And what's nice is you kind of, it's, you're really just mixing it up. It's not complicated at all. You're looking for a wet sand texture. Okay. So, you know, just close your eyes, pretend you're on the beach. <laughs> you might get your hand in there. <laughs> and once it starts to feel authentic, that's when you know you're ready to make your crust. Nice. So that's pretty good. I'm not sure I want this between my toes though, just guessing. Really? I feel like a beach made of graham cracker sounds awesome. Maybe, maybe. With the peanut butter seed. Aww. So <laughs> Dreamy. So now we can actually just start pressing it right into our crust. Okay. And so it's super easy. Actually, we can maybe Yeah, how can I help? I'll yeah. hold the bowl, you scoop in there. All right. You just want to get all the crumb in there. Okay. You set that aside. And now I'm just going to use my hands to actually press this right in. And you just kind of, actually, you can help yeah, me. Yeah, I was going to yeah, Come on, dig in. <laughs> so you just want to kind of press it really tight okay. against the edge. And you come all the way up. And you just want to be nice and firm because that's going to create your nice firm crust. Okay. All right. Almost there, just a little bit more. Just want to make sure you get all those edges. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now this is going to go into the oven. And you just want to toast it up a bit, just kind of brown those edges. Okay. And we'll have our crust ready. Nice. So Caroline's been whipping up this cream for our pie. And we got the pie crust out of the oven. It's nice and toasted and cooled. And so now we can work on our filling. We're going to start off with some softened cream cheese. So this is just about one package of cream cheese. And get that right into the bowl. And I just want to give it a little bit of a beat just to kind of smooth it out. So why did you, um, what's with the whipped cream? Like what's the, well, the purpose of it? Oh, well what we're going to do here is we're whipping up the, the cream cheese with a little bit of this delicious smooth operator peanut butter. Nice. And this is, I'm using this one because obviously it's going to be a light, creamy, fluffy center. So the smooth operator is perfect for it. Perfect. And so once we get the kind of the flavor base, then the whipped cream is going to loosen that all up and make it oh, light okay. and fluffy. That's a great so, idea. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love when you confirm my genius. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're just going to let the mixer do the job. Okay. And so now I'm going to add our marshmallow cream. And what's really great about this, it kind of makes it much easier to deal with the sticky, sticky marshmallow cream, is we put a little bit of vegetable oil on the outside of the bowl. Oh, nice. Before putting the, uh, the marshmallow cream in there, so it just comes right out. It's awesome, you probably could do that if you were getting it out of the jar on the spatula or exactly. something too, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay. It just makes life easier for everybody. Awesome. I'm also putting in a little bit of kosher salt. Yes. And some confectioner sugar. A sweet Salty. sugar thing, we like it. Exactly, so then we're just gonna let the mixer go again. It looks great. Yeah, it's just lovely and light and fluffy. And we're gonna make it even lighter and fluffier. Filling. There's something a little like retro about this too. Oh, right? this is totally like an old fashioned recipe. It's like, I love it. That's what I love about it. It's super classic. But the peanut butter, you know, the, the nice rich peanut butter here, the, the nuttiness will really come through. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, you can smell it. It smells so yeah. good. So now that we've got in, if you wanna just kind of Get some nice big scoops of that right. at a time. Okay. And we're going to gently, yeah, let's just do about a portion of that. Perfect. And then I'm just going to kind of fold that in because you don't want to just beat it in. I don't want to lose the lightness of the whipped cream. I just kind of want to keep it in there delicately. There we go. We can do a little bit more now. Awesome. Here you go. Well, what's cool too, I think once you fold it in for the first time, the mm -hmm. second folding, it's, you have to be less worried about, yeah, it's you know. much lighter. Yeah, it's much lighter. You're not dealing with a dense mixture anymore. So you just kind of want to go until you don't really see any streaks. 
All right, so we can actually get this into our pie crust. All right. And so you just kind of want to spread it out in there. How lovely does that look? Perfect. Like that. And now we're going to top it off with uh, some fun stuff. So I've, right. over here, I've got some crushed roasted salted peanuts. Okay. We have some mini chocolate chips and some mini marshmallows. Yes. You know, for a little extra marshmallow. Are you gonna fun. do it just around the, the Yeah, I'm just edge? gonna do around the edges. I mean Can I join? Sure, please All do. Right. You can follow me. So there you have it, fluffernutter pie. Yum. So I'm not even gonna wait to slice this. I'm just digging in. Ugh, I'm so excited. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yum. Mmm. Mm. So good. Thanks for watching. We hope you try this recipe and be sure to give us a like. Every week we cook up a new peanut buttery dish, so make sure you subscribe to the Peanut Butter and Company channel to catch them all. And we love hearing from you guys. So if you have questions or comments about how you love to use peanut butter in your favorite recipes, be sure to leave them in the section below. See you next time. Bye. Take five. Just keep going. Seriously, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Don't move your hands. I'm sorry. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. So we're almost done getting all this crust into the pie plate. Okay, so it's out of the oven now. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on?